Welcome back there, Papa's Posse. Once again, it's time for another reading from Papa's Comic Books and Coffee. Okay, let's see who decided to visit us today. It is Archie's Christmas Stocking, just in time for Christmas. This is book number one, $2 back in 1993. There's a few stories in here. There's uh, a jingle for justice, fresh idea, dismissal, too many classes, picture frame, Christmas cheer up, and close shave. Now don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, papas-comic-books. Hit that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate that. Give me a like if you would. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to hear, okay? Let's get into it. Also, this book has a free 1994 calendar poster inside. Ooh. A Jingle for Justice. Honor Chief, Great Harsut, and Rotund Royalness. There is trouble in my sector. I beg time off to return Christmas joy to some unhappy people. Jingles. You're always off at the busy, busiest time of the year. But bringing joy is our job. Go be, but be warned. I'll have you on the scanner. Her suit, rotund, hairy and fat. That jingle's got no respect. Riverdale. Every year it's Riverdale. I wonder what trouble this the trouble is this time. I think I'll stay invisible until I get a line on what's going on. I can't believe Daddy calling a halt to Christmas this year. Golly, Ron, you can't blame him. I hear he's on the verge of bankruptcy. That's enough to turn anybody sour. The timing is terrible. Uh-oh. I'm glad I hid in this bag. I've got to get the skinny on where the trouble lies. Darn, that makes me mad. Ron was the only rich friend we had. Ouch, I know where my trouble lies, in the picking out of the wrong place to hide. Old Man Lodge tapped out. That's one for the books the bear's looking into. He's got company. They're both past the age when they can see us brownies, so I won't have to hide this time. George, are you sure about this? I don't know. Mr. Lodge, I've been your financial advisor for 10 years. If you can't trust me, who can you trust? But I've been losing so much money lately. This stock is going to hit the stratosphere, believe me. Okay, George, if you say so, buy as much as you think is proper. Uh-oh, I can't be good. Slade, it's George. He went for it. Start buying up that turkey. If this doesn't sink the old codger, nothing will. But you and me, we're going to be rich. Oh, wow. No wonder there's trouble in River City or Dale or whatever. What those two creeps are doing is not exactly in the Christmas spirit. I better wise up the kids. Hey, everybody, it's, Jung it's Jingles. We're going to be okay. Our main man, he always solves our Christmas problems. Of course, of course, that's what I'm here for. What turned Daddy off on Christmas, Jingles? George has fi his financial advisor and a crooked broker are robbing him blind. Robbing my daddy? That's terrible. The sleazy slobs ought to be drawn, quartered, and hung and deep sixed. That's hardly the Christmas spirit. You're both right, which leads to both brownie bed befuddlement. Be what? Confusion. Let me try a little benevolent brainwashing on the misguided maven. Turn your thoughts from bad to gooder. Do your job the way you shoulda. Slade? Sell that turkey. I've got a list of changes in Lodge's portfolio. Are you ready? George, he'll make money if we do that. Don't argue. Buy Croton gas. Sell Stonewall sewers. Sell Bimini bananas. Macro mucilage. George, what are you doing? And real soon, Godzooks, that George is a genius. He wiped out all my losses and I'm twice as rich as I used to be. What do you mean? What do you do? What do you mean, Daddy? Where's the tree? You said. Never mind what I said. Let's get ready for Christmas. Shoot the works. Well, you did it again, Jingles. You're a little genius. Of course I am. Have a nice day, kids. I'm off. This is true. Back as usual when the work is all done, but you did a nice job, son. Congratulations. Thanks, boss. Sheesh. Doesn't that just frost you, the luck that this little twerp has? 
he could fall into an ice crevice and become and come up with a pickle in his mouth. Hmm. Archie and fresh idea. How about this one, Arch? It's nice, Jug, but... But what? This is the fifth lot we've visited, and you still haven't found one you like. Listen, Jug, my parents are trusting me to pick out our tree. I want to make sure I get one that's fresh. This one smells fresh. Oh, yeah, well, I'll just test it. Oh, no. The Andrews trusted and trusted and the tree, true tree trunk trap test. Uh-oh. Just as I suspected. A shower of needles. It's not fresh enough. Gee, tree dandruff. Well, there's another lot around the corner. I think we're wasting our time, Jug. Hi, boys. Looking for a tree? Ours are fresh cut. That's what they all say. It's true. We have our own tree farm and truck in new trees regularly. Ah, thanks, but no thanks. Suit yourself. Well, now what? Back to the car? That guy gave me an idea. Let's drive out to the country and cut our own tree. Drive way out there in this weather? Sure, come on, it'll be worth it. Later. We've been driving for hours. Let's turn back. No way. The guy at the gas station where we stopped said there was a tree farm out here. See, there it is. Hooray, Morgan's Christmas tree farm ahead. Check it out. Now we'll get a tree that's fresh. Hi, happy holidays. Shortly. After you cut your tree, bring it back here to pay. Right, where should we cut? Go over that hill. We're harvesting some trees there now. Okay, thanks. This is insane. A tree is a tree. Stop grumbling and chill. Chill. I'm so chilled, I'm frozen stiff. This is the place. Oh, look, Morgan's Farm. They need to cut down trees. This looks like a good tree. They all look good to me. Hi, guys. Need any help? Huh? You're the guy from the tree lot in Riverdale. Yep. This is my farm. We're taking a load of fresh trees to Riverdale now. See ya. And we came all the, the way out here for a tree that we could... That Do you say? And we came all the way out here for a tree. What do you say to that? Gulp. I'm fresh out of comments. Okay. Betty and Veronica, this missile. How are you doing with Operation Repair, Archie? I've painted so many fire trucks, I'll never get out of the red. <laughs> Besides, fixing up Christmas toys for the kids, Mr. Weatherby has an idea. What's that? The post office is sending all the Santa Claus letters over here. This is Santa's substation. That way, we'll know what the kids want for Christmas. With all the toys you've been, you boys fixed up, we'll be able to fill most of the orders. Well, Miss Grundy, it's working out fine. The students have really got the spirit this year. Good. Betty and Veronica are handling the mail. Fine choice. Here's another cute one, Ronnie. This one wants a wagon and a blonde doll. Check. I'm sure we can handle that one. And here's a, a, oh, for heaven's sake. Dear Santa, I want a big fuzzy dog for my very own. So what's wrong with that? It's a real cute. It's signed Archie. Huh. Real funny. Guess who wants Santa to bring him a big turkey dinner? Jughead? Who else? Listen to this one. Dear Santa, I don't want skates, a horn, or a harmonica. Just a great big kiss from, on the lips from Veronica. Reggie, of course. We ought to show these two to Mr. Weatherby. Everything's a joke with those nitwits. Wait, I think I know how to handle this. I'll educate. This is the Christmas season. We'll give them what they ask for. What? Just like my five-year-old kid, just like any five-year-old kid, we'll take them seriously. Of course, make them feel foolish. Phew, being Santa's helper is a lot of work, and wow. Hey, look at this. There's a card on it. It's a jughead from Santa Claus. Holy cow, I was only kidding. Well, someone is kidding you right back. Who cares? What's this? I wrote a letter to Santa Claus, sir, and whoops. Oof. Get him off me. Help save me. He looks friendly, Mr. Weatherby. What's this? To Archie from Santa Claus. Uh, I wrote a letter, too. 
We'll, we'll settle this later, as soon as I can locate the school psychiatrist. Of all the idiotic, infantile, whoops, smush. Uh, Mr. Weatherby, I suppose that was a response to a letter to Santa Claus? Golly, how did you know? Betty, I'm in trouble. Mr. Weatherby caught me kissing Reggie. Golly, let's sneak up and see what the action he's taking. There's Santa. Hmm. Oh my gosh, he's taking it seriously. They're all supposed to be little boys at heart, but this is ridiculous. But, but he's a grown man. I wonder if there is such a thing. Girls, here's another letter to Santa. Thank you, Miss Grundy. This must be the one from Mr. Weatherby. What does it want? A red wagon or a cowboy suit? Dear Santa, I have everything I need this year, but please bring Betty and Veronica a little business they can call their own so they can keep their pretty little noses out of yours. Signed, Mr. Weatherby. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Too many clauses. Your tree is beautiful, Ronnie. What a wonderful Christmas day. Say, Arch, you need a girdle. A merry ho-ho to you, liver lips. Come here, Santa. It's time for somebody to give you a Christmas present. Ho, ho, ho. Smack. Hey, fellas, look. Mistletoe. Ha, ha. Too late, Reggie. Santa Claus is the only one I kissed tonight. You're right, Ronnie. Stick, stick to it. Of course, this is his day. Who asked you? Come on. No fighting. This is a festive occasion. Let's have a song. I saw Ronnie kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe last night. <laughs> That's cute. Sing it, man. Ronnie, we're running short of soda. Oh, dear. Relax, gorgeous. I'll go get some. Reggie, you're a dear. Hey, you guys, come along and give me a hand. Why do you need us? Psst, just come. I'll explain outside. All right, okay. See you later, girls. Well, they're all going. Let them. We'll amuse ourselves with Jolly St. Nick until they return. Hold on, you vultures. Under this padded paunch is my Archie. So hands off, stingy. Hey, look, here is the 1994 calendar. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. Archie's always bitten by the love bug. 1994. Later. I think I'll step out and see how the young folks are doing. Uh-oh, smack. Well, old Santa is making merry all right. I hope the kitchen's empty. I'd like a sandwich or, oops, smack. Perhaps I'd better stay in my den after all. I don't want to spoil, whoop, smack. Oh no, a lot of kissing going on. Ha ha, that over-calorie Casanova really gets around. Who's that, Daddy? Santa Claus. He's working that mistletoe to death. What? Yuck. Every place I go, I run into that smooching Santa. Santa, I'd like to see you for a moment. Ho, 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 glad to oblige. Hmm. Hold it, that's enough. Now stop that. Hey, what's going on? Ho, 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 remember this is my day. That's right, Ronnie. Don't be a bad sport. Unhand me. You are, you, you upholstered Casanova. I've had enough. Daddy, will you see my friends out? I'm going to bed. Oh, oh, I wonder what happened. I'm afraid we'll have to break up the party. It's getting late. Yes, sir. Good night, girls. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to Mr. Lodge. I wonder what happened to the boys. They never did get back with the soda. The next day. What are you doing back here, huh? What what I do? You spent the entire evening kissing girls. That's what you did. What? One kiss from you is all I got. Honest, I didn't kiss anyone else. Don't lie to me, Archie Andrew. My father saw you. I'm innocent. I swear I'm innocent. Mr. Lodge wouldn't lie, but I know I didn't kiss any other girls. Returning a Santa Claus suit, Sonny? Step at the end of the line. Ah, ah, ah. I get it. Picture frame. I never want to see you again. I never want to speak to you again. I never want to hear of you again. Wow. Betty Cooper, from this moment on, you cease to exist to me. Look at those sparks fly. They sound like they really mean it this time. Yeah, isn't it awful? Why are you so happy? I'm going to save much loot on Christmas gifts. Yuck, I've got a couple of framed pictures of me that Pop paid for. Uh-oh, you'll write all my love on both of them. Sure, they'll split so they'll never compare. You're saving money at the risk of your neck. Nuts, you heard them. They're through with each other. Mr. Lodge, will you hide this with your gifts? 
I'd like it to go under the tree on Christmas morning. All right, Archie, but I'm, I'm in a hurry. I've got to go out to town. Thank you, sir. Now to get Betty's mother to stash this away. Oops. Oh, the glass broke. Oh, well, that's easy to replace. I probably have another piece of glass in the... Yep. Oh, my gosh. This one is for Ronnie. That means Ron has the one that says, To Betty, with all my love. And I got them mixed up, Jug. Do you know what that means? Yeah. That you framed yourself once too often. Ron's dad is away on a trip, but that picture is hidden somewhere in the house. Here comes the pitch. I'll keep her on a get busy while you search. It's a curve as usual. Hey, what does it look like? It's wrapped, isn't it? Shucks, you can tell a picture even without wrapping on it. I'll try. Hi, Ron. How's about treating a starving suitor to a snack? Let's see what's in the refrigerator yields. Uh, not me, I'll just hang around here. Now there's one for the books. Uh-oh, someone's coming. It must be the butler. Strange, I could have sworn I heard noises in here. Hearing things, I guess, is a sign of age. I'm full of strange feelings today. Perhaps I need a vacation. Ooh, I think I found something. Well, I've hit the jackpot, but how am I supposed to know which is Archie's? Uh, coming, Arch. Your mom wanted you home by three. Oh, yeah, yeah. See you later, Cream Puff. For five of them. How would I know which is yours? Well, I'll get mine, and we'll have to return the rest. There. There we go again. Hey, none of these is mine. Uh, now you're in real trouble. Uh, you know, I'm inclined to think everything is going to be all right. Archie in Christmas cheer up. Bills, bills, bills. Happy holidays. Huh. Tis the season to go bankrupt. Gee, Pop has been in grumpy mood this holiday season. It's been a rough year. Don't worry. Something will get him into the right holiday mood. It always does. The next evening. Are you ready, Pop? Grumble another holiday special. Huh. Ready for what? You and I are supposed to do some Christmas shopping tonight, remember? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Come on, Pop. This, this will be fun. Okay, sure. If you say so. A short time later. Gee, I'm sorry I suggested them all, Pop. I didn't think it would be so crowded. Grumble, I love riding around and around looking for a parking spot. All right. The worst is over, Pop. Now we can just shop. Yo, check out that nightgown. Grumble, huh? Mom would love this. It's pure silk. Mm, and the price is reason reasonable. Only $14.50. I'll get it. God, look at all that line. It'll move fast, Pop. Finally, you're charged. You charged me 145 for that. That's the price, sir. I thought it was 1450. Obviously, you read the price wrong, sir. Do you still want it? No way. I waited all that time and paid for an item I can't afford. Let's go. Sorry. The next day. Hi, Fred. How was your day? Oh, don't ask. I just found out I'm not getting a Christmas bonus. Oh, Archie put our tree in the stand. We're ready to trim it. Maybe they will cheer you up. Dirty, rotten, no bonus later. Well, that was hard work, but the tree looks great. Gee, Mom, Dad hasn't cracked a smile once this holiday season. He'll snap out of it, Archie, I hope. Hmm. This bulb needs tightening. I'll put the ladder away. Archie, be careful. Huh. No, it don't. Yo! Fred, are you okay? I'm just dandy. Gee, I'm so sorry, Dad. Uh, don't I look like I'm fine? You look like a Christmas tree, Pop. You're all lit up. Maybe those decorations will brighten your holiday outlook. I guess I have been a grouch, but at least the tree didn't land on my mistletoe. Ha, ha, ha. Merry Christmas, everyone. The eggnog is on me after we fix the tree. I think you've had enough stuff on, your, on you for one night, Dad. Okay, Archie in Christmas stocking and close shave. What's the big rush, Arch? I've got an important day tonight, Al, and Santa's seat is all warmed up for the late shift. Ho, 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 the beard tickles. That reminds me, I used to spirit, I used your spirit gum to attach my beard. It came loose and kept falling off my chin. Your stuff really worked. Spirit gum, you mean this stuff? 
Yeah, why? Arch, this is super cemento glue. I used it to fix my loose heel on my boot. Super cemento? Right. The stuff is harmless to your skin, but the beard is stuck on for good. You're kidding, right? Wrong go. Just try yanking it off. Yo, I told you so. You'll have to remove it with a special solution. Oh, no, I'm going to a fancy holiday party at Veronica Lodge's tonight. Relax. I'll write down the name of the stuff you need. I can't show up looking like this. Here, you can find it at the drugstore. Thanks, I guess. Employees only to the store. I'll get the solution at the drugstore here in the mall. Look, Mommy, a wacky looking elf. That's not an elf, dear. I don't know what that was. Oh, I don't, I didn't think elves had freckles. I sure hope the drugstore has the stuff. See, Santa. Oh, no, I forgot they close early tonight. I'll try the drugstore at the other end of the mall. Wow, look, it's Super Santa. Nah, that's Rudok, Rudok, the red-headed rain, rain, dark, rain dork. Excuse me, pardon me. Ho, ho, ho. Yikes, gangway. Wait, wait, don't close, Joe King. Huh? Phew, puff, phew. I need the solution. Sure, Santa, anything for you. Minutes later. Thanks, thanks a million. No problem. Just remember, I want a red sports car for Christmas. Much later. Getting that beard off was a relief. I would have looked like a jerk if I showed up wearing it. Hi, Archie. It's about time you got here. Come in, take off your coat. Hi, Ron. I have an excuse for being late, but you wouldn't believe it. Huh? What gives? Yo, Arch. Ho, ho, ho. Duh, duh. Hi, Arch. It's my idea to get into the holiday spirit. All the gals are wearing Santa hats and all the guys are wearing fake beards. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Great idea, huh? Here's yours. Great idea, huh? Ho, ho, ho. Well, that was Archie's Christmas stocking. Number one from 1993. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, papas-comic-books. Hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. Also, give me a like. I would really appreciate that. And leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about it. And as always, as Papa always says, and Archie always says, That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out.